Going now to the UK, Theresa May became British Prime Minister on Wednesday after being appointed by Queen Elizabeth shortly after the monarch accepted David Cameron's resignation. Cameron stepped down after Britons rejected his entreaties and voted to leave the EU in a referendum last month. May 59 assumed office after an audience with Queen Elizabeth. She's the 13th Prime Minister to serve under the monarch in a line that started with Winston Churchill. Here's VC Sim for the report. Another day, another British Prime Minister for the United Kingdom. The Brexit fallout continues with the Remainer taking top office. David Cameron leaves number 10. He attended his last House of Commons parliamentary question time where he was sent off with a round of applause from all members of the party. He then proceeded to Buckingham Palace to formally offer his resignation. Well, first of all, let me join the, the right hon. Gentleman. In terms of what he says about Scotland and the United Kingdom and Europe, my advice to my successor, who is a brilliant negotiator, uh, uh, is that we should try to be as close to the European Union as we can be uh, for the benefits of trade, of cooperation and of security. The channel will not get any wider once we leave the European Union and that is the relationship we should seek. That will be good for the United Kingdom and good for Scotland. The last thing I'd say is that you can achieve a lot of things in politics. You can get a lot of things done and that in the end, the public service, the national interest, that is what it's all about. Nothing is really impossible if you put your mind to it. After all, as I once said, I was the future once. <laughs> It has been the greatest honour of my life to serve our country as Prime Minister over these last six years and to serve as leader of my party for almost 11 years. And as we leave for the last time, my only wish is continued success for this great country that I love so very much. Thank you. In an emotional farewell together with his family, David Cameron leaves number 10 Downing Street which is ready to be occupied by the new Prime Minister, Theresa May, the second woman to take top office. There was a swift transition. Theresa May was formally asked by Queen Elizabeth II to lead the country as Prime Minister and to form her new government. Theresa May did not waste any time and decisively appointed the top cabinet posts. George Osborne quit as Chancellor of the Exchequer or Finance Minister and Michael Gove was sacked as Justice Secretary as Theresa May continued the process of appointing ministers to her new administration. And I know because we're Great Britain that we will rise to the challenge. As we leave the European Union, we will forge a, forge a bold new positive role for ourselves in the world and we will make Britain a country that works not for a privileged few, but for every one of us. The most controversial being Boris Johnson, the infamous Brexiteer who took part in the race also for the next Prime Minister, but bowed out. Boris has now been appointed the new Foreign Secretary. Theresa May is forming a special committee to oversee the Brexit and safe departure from Europe. She's known as a tough negotiator and now faces the task of uniting a divided kingdom and steering the country out of very turbulent and uncertain times. Reporting from the London Bureau, I'm V. Manuel Season, The Eagle News.